if you're like me and you listen to a lot of music, you probably come across some songs that just weren't mastered or put together very well. Uh, for example, this song right here by the Bare Naked Ladies called Night Photographs. Uh, it was originally off their second demo tape, I think it was, and sounds a little bit like this. Now, uh, from a quick listen, you might be saying, well, it doesn't sound terrible, and it doesn't sound terrible, but it could sound a little better. Uh, it was very bassy, it didn't sound that clear, and we're going to try and fix that. The, what we're going to be using here is Audacity 2.1.1. I'm using 2.1.1 because the download for this off their site comes with a million bajillion filters that don't uh, come with the earlier versions. I'm sure if you're using an earlier version you can find a download for these filters or something similar to it. But I'm just letting you know right now, uh, if you're not really familiar with Audacity, uh, you don't understand how to read a spectrogram chart, and you just generally don't have that well an idea on you know using these sort of programs then this is not the tutorial for you I'm not going to explain very many things that shouldn't already be common knowledge uh, if people know that program by this point uh, so first of all we're gonna look at the spectrogram and take a look at what like portion of the graph is actually audio uh, as you can see here it's about halfway through the top uh, we can see right here the audio peaks at about 13 kilohertz. What we can do right away is get rid of this line right here. If we were to amplify this line audio thing right here, you would just hear a really, really annoying ringing noise. So what we're going to do is we're going to select uh, spectral selection from this drop-down menu, and we are going to whoops, we're going to focus on where the line is, drag the selection, hit control A to select all, then you go into your effects, you should have an option called spectral edit multi-tool or spectral edit parametric EQ, they both do the same thing essentially. We're just going to choose uh, multi-tool and it pretty much gets rid of the line instantly, you can do it once or twice to make sure it's done, that's out of the way. Okay. Now that that's done, we can get into the other effects. Uh, basically, we want the information of the audio from down here to get a little bit higher. The higher it is, uh, the more clear it'll appear to sound. Now, this isn't going to work with every single song out there you throw at it like this, but this is an example I know works pretty well. So we're going to go to Effect and find the a plugin called Aliasing. You want to set the aliasing level to 0.5, and what this does, it makes a bit of a mirror image of the spectrogram right here. So let's take a listen right now. Now it already sounds a little bit clearer than it does right here. But there's still some more things we can do. Um, what I like to do is from here, uh, go to tracks and then hit resample. I want to cut the audio from about 16 kilohertz, 15 or 16, so I'm going to type in 32,000 hertz here. So that cuts the audio around 16 kilohertz. And what we're going to do now is type in 60 or 61,000 hertz. It doesn't really matter which. So I'm just going to do 61,000. Because then we can use the aliasing tool again. I'll show you. We can zoom out and see the entire spectral view here. We can use the aliasing tool to mirror image that again and have the spectrum reach the top of the graph. Now that that's done, you can go back to resample. It should already be on 44.1 kilohertz. That is CD quality. And you're pretty much done here. Uh, from here you can do a little finishing touches, but let's just listen to what we have so far. Now, doing this aliasing trick will lower the volume overall of the song, but uh, what we're going to do right now should fix it. Um, we just simply have to go to bass and treble, and we're going to raise the treble a few notches. I like to do five at a time. And once that's done, you can already see it's a bit louder, more listenable. Let's take a look. Now 
that's a bit clearer and it's a bit more in your face. It has a little bit more oomph than just this. In fact, let's try doing a bit of a comparison. I'm going to import this into here again. You can see it's the original thing. And do a bit of an A and B switch. So you can hear the difference. At night I like the photographs, printed camera images, and I don't have a flash. Put a little notebook, your subjects, yeah. So that's pretty much an exponential difference, and it's a lot better in my opinion. Uh, if you were adventurous, you could probably delve into the tape noise situation. As you can see, you can, it's still in the song right here. But that is not something I like to really do with Audacity because uh, their noise reducer is kind of simple. That's normally how you would fix up a song with this program.